Okay, welcome student to Technology. Myself Ajit Kumar. Today we'll see your important questions for electronics class 12 chapter 1 and chapter 2. Okay, 2024 your HSC board exams are on the way, right? So for that we will start a series of important questions. We will discuss on those and then definitely I will say that you will get the advantage and the I would say the plus by referring these questions okay in your marks to the total marks to your board exams right so we will start over here students the first chapter and the second chapter imp questions we'll discuss over here so we'll start with this the first question for chapter one electronics instruments okay so draw block diagram of dmm digital multimeter i would say and descri uh, describe each block in brief right so the diagram carries two marks and the uh block level or process flow or the i would say uh, the explanation of that particular uh, dmm and if possible you can write your advantage or some disadvantage one one points okay then uh, label diagram draw label diagram of cathode ray tube crt and uh, explain function of each electrode in it then the third one okay so the cathode ray crt tube that is given in your textbook you have to practice it twice thrice okay till you become perfect in that without uh, seeing the uh, diagram if you are able to drawing that particular diagram so it will uh, get a confident boost to your i would say uh, marks preparation okay so the third question draw block diagram of cro okay cro cathode Row, uh, ray oscilloscope so the diagram of that in, is given in the textbook so practice it twice thrice till you become perfect in that so i would say without viewing the diagram if you are able to draw draw it so that means you came perfect and uh, because see the naming convention that follows that particular diagram block diagram are important so without viewing if you are after uh, practicing two to three times and without viewing that particular diagram from the test book if you are able to draw and name it proper well so definitely your two marks or three marks are in the bucket of your total marks okay then explain each function of each block right so function of each block to be explained out then draw a circuit diagram of time based generator and explain its working then applications of function generator any four applications for two marks it will come you have to write those four points okay then uh, what are the advantages of digital multimeter over analog multimeters yes again to do four points for two marks okay the first question only help will help you to grab this uh, questions marks actually because while preparing that particular question in block diagram of dmm uh, as I explained or mentioned earlier that you have to come across with the uh, advantages and disadvantages as well so either mug up that or write it out that or buy it whatever it is okay memorize it so please be there for two points ready with yourself okay so then after that we'll start with second chapter chapter 2 DC power supplies what is rectifier state the types of rectifier okay so rectifier, half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, bridge wave rectifier, center type, whatever it is. Okay, the name I have mentioned also come in uh, alternate naming conventions. Okay, so two names under one concept, I would say. So what is rectifier types? Then the working of half wave rectifier over here. Uh, you have to again practice those diagrams twice or thrice till uh when you uh, memorize that particular uh, diagram circuit diagram and without viewing uh, if you are able to write it out if you are able to i would say um, uh, label it out all the segments of that particular diagram so that means you are now well perfect enough and your two marks or three marks will be adding you know but again buckets that uh, comprise or total up to uh, two marks uh, if it is a five marks question four marks question right so explain working of full wave rectifier or working of center tapped full wave rectifier with neat diagram okay so full wave rectifier or center tap as i uh, previously also mentioned that 
uh, alternate naming convention naming for these particular rectifiers. So full wave rectifier is also known as center diag wave rectifier. Okay, so the diagram of it. So in half wave two diodes or in full wave four diodes bridge wave how many diodes so these diodes you have to uh, memorize it out right the diodes are very much important over here so if you make some uh, work uh, mentioning or labeling of those particular diodes if you are missed out with any of one or uh, the diodes so the diagram or the concept will totally go wrong and you will uh, lose your marks over here okay so explain the working of bridge rectifier then again it is a important bridge rectifier okay then compare half wave and bridge re rectifiers compare all the three also half wave full wave or uh, bridge rectifier okay or they i would say center tab the same that we discussed then what is ripples and ripple factor a most important one for two marks then again we have explained working of capacitor input filter okay again the important one then explain the working of rc filter okay rc filter then resistor capacitor filter then inductance capacitor filter explain the working of lc filter okay important then again the uh, tenth one draw a circuit diagram of a voltage regulator circuit using a zener diode okay zener diode the main symbol of that zener diode you have to uh, i would say watch that uh, keep into mind that particular okay that tilt wala okay a straight then a triangle then the straight will be followed with some tilt uh, i would say marks okay so that is the main uh, i would say notion of that zener diode in a normal diode or in a zener diode so that should not go wrong if it is then you will lose your marks okay the whole the total uh, concept will go wrong if you use any other diode concept okay so explain its working fine this is the important then explain uh, vi characteristics of i would say voltage current characteristics of this uh, of the zener diode with the help of uh, circuit diagram okay so this is the important one so a graph will uh, very much uh, i would say will was to explain uh, that particular concept uh, this uh, particular concept i would say okay then what are the advantages of three terminal ic regulators advantage again uh, uh, four advantages or two advantages okay then state different types of three pin ic regulators the types you have to mention it out explain it out so yeah so this all 13 questions uh, could uh, more than enough i would say to prepare for second chapter then again the we have numericals right uh, so basic numericals two to three numericals you can prepare it out uh, as you know in electronics uh, we have diagrams to practice we have uh, numericals to practice to memorize the formulas then uh, do the some uh, mathematical calculations okay so these are more important uh, if you want to score uh, out of marks all the marks in the bucket of your that will add up uh, the total marks of your account of 50 marks in paper 1 either or in paper 2 okay so yeah children so we'll wrap up uh, this session over here so i will uh, again uh, say you uh, uh, all your best uh, prepare your best give your best to prepare for this uh, hsc maharashtra board 2024 exams of electronic subject class 12 okay being a vocational subject so it is a scoreable subject so it will really help out to add up your total to your Uh, HSC uh, board exams marks um, that mark sheet that scorecard that you get in the uh, I would say the result section. Okay, so till then, thank you. Have a good day. Till then, we'll I would say continue or uh, the other two chapters in the next video. Till then, thank you. Have a great day. Subscribe the channel, like the video if you like it. Okay, so bye. Thank you.